Welcome to your English 7 concept video. This video takes the place of your class lecture, saving class time for a valuable discussion. Treat this video as you would a class lecture. Pay attention carefully and take notes. If you wish, pause the video or rewind it to understand something you missed. Bring questions to class. Okay, let's go. Today we're talking about the short fiction concept of theme. Let's start with a very specific and technical definition of theme. Theme is the central insight into human nature provided by a piece of literature. That's a pretty sophisticated definition, and it may throw you for a moment. So let's try to break it down into simpler, even though not as specific, terms. The theme is the message that the author wishes to give you. It could be a moral. It could be a lesson. Somehow, the author wants you to understand something. So, the author is giving you this message through the literature. What is the understanding about? The understanding is about us. The understanding is about people and our own lives. And what it's like to be a human being. That's what's meant by central insight into human nature provided by a piece of literature. Central insight means it's the message that the author wants to give. Into human nature means that it's about us and our lives. There are some principles that we should remember when we're talking about theme. First, themes can be expressed as complete sentences. And if I ask you to write a theme, I will be asking for a complete sentence, a full message about us, about human nature. Secondly, authors often comment on vitally important aspects of human experience. So they don't often talk about the experience of typing on a keyboard, but they might talk about the experience of being honest in a painful situation. They will comment on what is important to us and what we really need to discuss. You can consider a theme in a very basic way in some simple fables. Consider the tortoise and the hare. If you remember that tale, the tortoise moves very slowly but consistently and beats the hare who runs too fast and tires himself out. The message is a message of behavior, what we should do. And the author is telling us that haste does not always win the race. Slow and steady is often better. This is a message about us, what it's like to act and behave as a human being. That's a fairly simple tale. We'll be working on some more sophisticated literature in this class, so let's continue the discussion. Let's think about finding theme. How can you find a theme? A statement like, slow and steady wins the race, or moderation is good. Well, you start with what we call a thematic concept. A thematic concept is the part of human nature that we're talking about. It could be a part like one of these. Perhaps somebody wants to talk about love, or honesty, or responsibility, growing up. Many authors want to talk about death and what death means for us. They want to talk about selfishness. Perhaps they want to talk about nature and the natural world. Perhaps they wish to discuss religion or the role of a government toward individuals. The list you see on the screen is not complete. Obviously, it can't be. Human nature is much more complex. But the important idea is that every time you read a story, you should think about what the author wants you to focus on regarding human nature. In our tortoise and the hare case, we might be thinking of a thematic concept like haste. And the author might be commenting on haste and hasty behavior. But we haven't found the full theme yet. Finding the thematic concept is only the first step. Let's go to the second. Every author comments on the thematic concept. We can call this the thematic comment. In other words, the author says something about it. I couldn't say that in the tortoise and the hare, haste is the theme. That wouldn't be enough. I must explain what the author is telling me about haste. In that case, the author is telling me that haste is bad, to use a very general term, or that moderation, careful moderation, is a better character trait. Let's consider an example. It goes something like this. Perhaps an author is talking about courage. The story deals with people making courageous decisions in the face of serious conflict. And perhaps my story 
develops an idea that courage can come from anyone, this would be the thematic comment. A story like Finding Nemo, for example, might develop this idea, or a story like The Lord of the Rings might explain that courage can come from the most unlikely of places, can come from anyone. You must have both parts in order to have a full theme, the thematic concept and the thematic comment. Not quite sure about it yet? Well, we haven't really talked about very specific examples that we've read in this class, so let's turn our attention to one. Let's turn our attention to King Midas and the Golden Touch. Let's say greed is destructive is the theme. Is it the theme? How do you know that this is the theme? Quick answer, you know it's the theme because you've read it in the story. Details, evidence, quotations, actions, dialogue. These pieces of evidence throughout the story have told you that greed is destructive is the theme. How does that work? Well, it works first by reading the story and thinking about what happens. Let's see some evidence. The first piece of evidence is that Midas expresses greed as a character trait. As you read on page 908, you see the author saying about Midas, he was, it is true, rather greedy, but on the whole, no better and no worse than any other man. This shows that the author wants us to focus on Midas's greed as his primary character trait, which helps me understand that the thematic concept is probably just that, greed. But we can find more evidence. When wishing for the golden touch, Midas is motivated by greed. It's his greed that makes the decision, not his love for his daughter or his care for his people, but his greed. As we read on page 909, the god agreed and Midas asked for the power to turn whatever he touched into gold. The god granted his wish and Midas was jubilant. So we know that greed once again is our focus and that helps us understand that it is probably the thematic concept under discussion. Well, what about the comment, the destructive portion? Let's look at further evidence. As a result of his greed, Midas cannot eat. As we see on page 909, what have I done, he whispered. If I cannot eat or drink, I shall die. The destruction, the harm, the damage that comes from his greedy wish is becoming apparent. And we have our first piece of evidence that shows the author telling us that greed is destructive. But we have more. Midas's decisions nearly kill his daughter. On page 910, we read, his daughter was now a gleaming but lifeless statue. As a result of his greed, Midas is nearly destroying himself and nearly destroying his daughter. The greed motivated decision leads to harm. And that's how we can determine that in King Midas and the Golden Touch, greed is destructive is the theme. We've looked at evidence and found that greed is apparent throughout, and it must be the thematic concept. We look at further evidence and find that destruction, the destructive nature of greed, must be the thematic comment, considering what happens after the greed-motivated decision. Putting these two together in a complete sentence gives us the theme. That is how you find theme in a given piece of literature. And if you follow that two-step process of reading, finding evidence, determining the thematic concept, and adding the thematic comment, you can find a clear and specific theme that will help you understand literature and express it to others.